This demonstration will show one of many possible ways to model 3D soil vapor data for a small site that lacks lithologic or hydrostratigraphic information. The site measures 48 by 60 by 20 feet and includes 11 boreholes drilled or pushed to a depth of 20 feet from a roughly flat horizontal surface. Each of the 11 sample sites contains one or two soil vapor point samples for PCE, TCE, VC, and benzene. This data was stored within the RockWorks P data table. As shown by these proportionally scaled disks representing PCE measurements, the data ranges from 0 to 260 ppbv. The IDW isotropic algorithm within the P data model menu will produce an aesthetically pleasing diagram. Unfortunately, it won't horizontally bias the model as one would expect with a contaminant plume in a sedimentary environment. The IDW advanced algorithm provides a means to horizontally bias the modeling by decreasing the horizontal exponent and increasing the vertical exponent. The effects of changing these weighting exponents can be profound but require experimentation to suit the project. The resampling option can also be used in conjunction with the IDW advanced algorithm to limit the extents of the plume projection. In this example, dummy zero level points will be added to all of the boreholes at half foot intervals. The net effect is a more geologically realistic model depicting the contaminant plume.